I like to start by making the sauce first. And these tacos get my favorite cilantro lime drizzle, which can be made ahead of time and refrigerated up to five days. To make it, I'm just going to add some sour cream, milk, lime juice, garlic powder, salt, pepper, and some chopped cilantro right into a blender, and we blend it until smooth. We're gonna pour this inside of a mason jar or condiment bottle and refrigerate it for later. Next, we move on to the kale. This is a power food and has a ton of vitamins like A, C, calcium. I mean, it also adds some really great texture to any meal, and what we're doing is we're going to make a kale slaw. Now, you wanna prepare it right. Now, if you don't like kale, you just use spinach. That will work up too and bring lots of nutrition into your meal. The truth is, is that kale is pretty tough and it has a really strong flavor. Plus it leaves you thinking that you're chewing leaves for eternity. So what we're doing is we're gonna remove the leaves from the stems, right? I'm just gonna clean these through. So as I destem the kale, I'm also going to give it a coarse chop so it fits in my taco. Transfer it into a large bowl as well. Also, really important, you'll wanna tenderize your kale by squeezing some lime juice and sprinkling some salt right over the kale and then giving it a good massage for about a minute or two. The acid from the lime is gonna break down those tough fibers on the leaves and once cooked, this taco is gonna be delish. To the kale, I'm gonna to toss in some diced pineapple, chopped jalapeno, and chopped cilantro. Let's give it a quick toss and set aside because that's gonna be our bed of slaw for the sauteed veggies. Next, let's heat some oil in the cast iron skillet. A hot pan is a trick to a really good sear on these veggies, so we want our pan to be sizzling hot. To the hot skillet, I'm gonna add the onion. I'm gonna toss it around and let it cook for about five minutes until it's golden and soft. Today I'm using a red onion, but you can use yellow or white, whatever you have on hand. Now while this is cooking, I'm gonna slice my poblano pepper. Now you can add the seeds in for extra heat, but I find that these peppers already have a lot of flavor. Then garlic. I hate chopping garlic, so I just grate it right in. Now we just cook these guys on lower heat until the peppers have softened. Now for the mushrooms, today I'm using cremini mushrooms. They're super easy to find. They come pre-sliced, so that's one less veggie I need to prep. Now you could totally use white button mushrooms too, if that's what you have around. Now a little taco seasoning right over the top. So while that finishes, I'm going to warm up the tortillas over an open flame, but you can do that in the microwave or the oven. Oh yeah, and let's slice an avocado. All we need to do is assemble this delicious taco. I'm going to place a bed of the crunchy kale pineapple mixture onto the tortilla, top it with the smoky veggies, some avocado, and finally, a drizzle of the cilantro lime dressing. And you know what? Let's squeeze a little lime for good measure. So good. Details right below the video, and let's keep talking tacos every week.